because it's going to be amazing. Head over to Twitter while the teams load into the game and share what you who you think will get the first win of the split. Tweet hashtag C9 win or hashtag TSM win as these guys make huge plays to at LOL East. On the Kog'Maw before you even get there. He's still 500 gold away from his needlessly large rod, which is really far behind. Although Dyrus is pushed up with no turret. Bad place Looks to be. Cast on the hunt. Doesn't look like he's going to get any help up here. He should go down eventually. The rest of the team is working on Dragon towards the bot lane. Dyrus is going to go down for the better, you could say. Somewhat. If Medios is going to be up there, though, that's just not a place that Dyrus needed to be. It's true. Uh, not necessarily respecting. Still holding ultimate. Yeah, TSM will take a fight if Cloudon engages, but don't expect TSM to go crazy here. Nope, there's Dragon. They also have crab control. It might be difficult to fight in even with on the hunt. Situations. Oh, there it is. On the hunt, throws down the gravity field. It flashed over the wall. Death Charge is going to go off to the side, and they are right onto Incarnation. They let him run through the lane, and then they actually flanked Cloud9 on their own initiation. Team Solo mid now onto Lemon, and it looks like they will be able to continue down the pressure right to the inhibitor turret. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff taken by... They are about taking these. Well, TSM wanted to double team that blue buff, which means Cloud9 might try and harass this dragon a little bit. It's going down low. Balls and Sneaky drive into 2v3. That here. turtle damage onto Sneaky. Already half health, two shots. Great spell shield to stop the last one. Sneaky can't get another shot on a turtle. That lantern was amazing by Lost Boy. Now Balls overheats in the fight. Lemon stuck with the rest of the team, and Medios on the top side here. So split on either side of the dragon. Nobody going down just yet, but they finally find all the HP of Bjergsen and cut him down. Both TSM, although Bjergsen is sitting at half health without heal, tries to zone there. This could be Dragon 4. It is. Dragon TSM should fight. Four. That puts the timer on. C9 has to do something big before 5 comes up. That's six more minutes, and so far, one kill on Dyrus is going to help that cause. Looking at Turtle now. Lost Boy puts up the box. That's going to stop the rest of the team from clearing through. It's the flash body slam on a turtle. Balls picks up the kill. Anchor Toss just missing Lost Boy, but there should be enough to take him down. And that's Incarnation with the living artillery picking himself up one. Five to three. Question. This Baron's going to go down. Eat it alive. One good thing about having a Kogma as well. That Blade of the Rune King only to boot and chunk down that beast. Baron goes. Sivir and Urgot are the AD carries trying to get up oh. both sides. And this is a brute force teleporting gauge. Dyrus coming in from the backside there. Did not see that, but Cloud9 forced to use the Sivir all to put themselves back in the fight. There's two for Incarnation. Looking for a third one. Actually puts more damage on the turtle so he cannot stay in the fight. Bjergsen with a sliver of health gets out of this one. And it looks like they are going to have control of the inhibitor. And with the Baron buff, this could be Cloud9 winning the game if they play their cards right. Bjergsen did not go down, so maybe he can hold them off. Cloud9 is going to take a whole bunch of advantages off this fight. Bjergsen does not have home guards right now, which onto Incarnation makes him think twice. They lose a bit of auto attack damage onto the turret, and they may not have enough to clean this one up. Lemon Nation gets taken down by the Afterburst. You can see Woo. these powered up mid laners at this point in the game, even though Bjergsen is out farming. Watch the pre-fight poke here from Incarnation. That's the key. He has a blue buff, which is oh. huge, and they end up fighting up top. Incarnation's around the wall. That's Balls looking to throw down. Go back and forth. A lot of good damage done on both sides here. Mostly the Lemonation, though, is look at TSM's health bars. They aren't feeling too good. That's the Equalizer. Splits Dyers from the team, but only for a little bit. Goes for the Flash Body Slam. Doesn't get Just em. in the middle. Did not get them. And they're able to react. Bjergsen very low, but still fighting from the outside. And that's going to be Turtle going down. All summoner spells used by him before he got that off to give the team a little bit more oomph in the fight. 50 seconds just about on the members of C9. Oh. There's another one down as Bjergsen pretty much one shots out in the Lemon Nation. TSM is just kind of getting the stragglers right now of C9. After this dragon, it's going to be a very hard push, possibly towards the top lane if his bottom wave doesn't push fast enough. Yeah, Medios went for the hero play, but he couldn't get the stunner knockback oh. on a Bjergsen. That's what ended up losing that fight. The poke is still pretty immense, but the blue buff the is gone from Incarnation. Here we go. Dragon goes down. That is going to be Santorin's. They have five. They have aspect. They have things planned ahead. They're setting the chess pieces in order before they really need it. Oh, the red carpet laid out for Team Solo mid nicely from Balls there. They're going to take quite a bit of damage. It may be enough to finalize a few kills in this fight. Balls over the wall, but then he just Zanyas, and he's able to keep enough damage onto Lust Boy along with Sneaky to get another kill. That's going to be Balls going down by the hands of Bjergsen as he starts to make his way out with Turtle. These lane to promote Dominion because they know they're going to be playing this around the Baron right now, and someone needs to go down and deal with that giant minion wave, but Whoa. they have to fight now. That choke point, though, that Ludens hit coming out as well. They're going to wipe down Team Solo mid here. Bjergsen very low, can only do a 
few things from the outside, and he might cast his last ability here. His death comes from the explosive cast, and a slam of the belly coming in from Meteos. A triple kill for Sneaky. Balls chasing out Dyrus, and potentially an inside the park ace here as Dyrus won't be able to do much for the team, but run away. That choke point that TSM walks through. Cloud9 again finds the fight, giving up five dragons throughout the game, but now with 50 second death timers across the board, and Maokai is the only one surviving for defense. This could be Cloud9 winning their first game. Very nicely done. They are going to rush up the mid lane, Jet. It took quite a while. We had one kill for 23 minutes in this game. And now it surmounts to 15 to 9. 45 minutes in, over 100 CS behind. Incarnation held his breath in that mid lane, making sure he could make it to the mid, make it to the late with his team. Dyrus doing his damnedest here to shut down Cloud9, who already had the head-to-head -head against Team Solo mid, and look to stretch it just a little bit more. 45 minutes on the clock. TSM trying one last time to go for broke on the stoppage, and Cloud9 pick up the first win of the summer split over Team Solo Mid. Wow. Against the defending champs right there, too. Down 100 plus CS in the mid lane. Five dragons to zero. Yet Woo. Cloud9 wins the team fights down the stretch. The Rumble Ultimates from Balls in the critical choke point. Sneaky staying alive in the team fights. And the Ludens procs there from Incarnation's Kogma. It's just enough to take down CSM in 45 minutes. Enough indeed. Very nicely done by the team. Strong play throughout, keeping their heads up as well. It would be very easy for a new player to just kind of feel down and out and be quiet in that situation. They even have a little bit of tilt yeah. when you're zero something, 100 CS behind. And it just took a little bit of time. Cloud9 actually flourished where they always do. Right in that mid-game delay. Mid-game team fights right there. Cloud9 comes up big once again. They they know though. You can see they know. Look at that. Yeah. That oh yeah, we squeaked by. I think we squeaked by. Jack, the <laughs> owner of Cloud9, is like, you know, there was a little word there when they had five right? <laughs> just a little bit. A little worried indeed. Let's get over to the this is damage chart and see what Incarnation did for his first day on the on the job. A lot of it. Incarnation doing 39,000 damage to champions. Highest in the game. Yeah. Second highest with Stinky, 35,000. 31,000 for Bjergsen's Victor. That is generally how AP Kogmar works, though. He's almost always doing the most damage. Yeah. This, this one, though, uh, with the giant CS discrepancy, just had to hit that.